What's up guys? Austin EV only here. Today we're going to change the spark plugs on this 2015 Chevy Volt. Should be pretty easy, pretty simple. I'll just walk you guys through it. Coming up. My name is Kevin. I'm the owner of Austin EV only. If you're new to the channel, we do repairs on all models of Tesla and the Chevy Volt Fiat 500 electric and the list is growing every day. If you're new here, we'd love it if you'd subscribe. It'd mean a lot to us and help others find our channel. Okay, for our 2015 here, we're going to go ahead and get this cover off first. First thing you want to do is take off some of this tubing here. We can see that there's a flathead right there and another flathead right there. So let's take those off right away. Next, let's undo these T30s right here. Now we should be able to wiggle this cover off. Pull it out. Okay, so next we're gonna take off this tab right here, pull that back, pull this piece off, and then these are T30s, we'll take those out. Let's do that right now. Then with our T30 bit, we'll undo these top screws here. And with the connector off and the screws out, we can start to wiggle this piece out here. I'm gonna lift up on this side. And there she is. All right, we got her. Okay, now we're gonna use a 5 8 uh, socket remover, special socket remover. You can kind of see that it's got this rubber gasket inside to grab on to the uh, plug. Hopefully it's the right size. Oh yeah, that's it. Then I gotta wiggle them out. All right, cool. Only thing I'm gonna say is when I reassemble, I'm not gonna use one of these uh, spark plug with the, with the uh, rubber grommet, just to save myself some time. I just put in a regular 17 millimeter, probably. Okay, and remember when sliding this guy back in to apply even pressure on both sides here so it goes in smoothly. put in these two screws. Remember that it was a T30 to put those in. There we go. Push this connector all the way on until we hear it clip. There we go. So we got that all the way on. And finally, don't stop forget our vanity cover. It also doubles as an air flow regulator of sorts. And from here we can see that this one goes on here. There we go. And that one goes on there. And then finally, let's not leave before we screw these back in here. All right, and just like that, we're all done. We did it, baby! Woo! Woo! So now we've got the Chevy Volt all tuned up and ready to go. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you found this helpful, will you please hit that like button? Or better still, hit that subscribe button. That's how we make more videos. Until next time, this is Austin EV only.